Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to take a look at your the rest of February for love. And happy Valentine's Day, all my lovely Virgos. <laughs> Let's take a look first, though, to see if there's going to be any love messages for Valentine's Day. And then we'll get into the rest of the reading for um, the rest of February. Okay, so... Yeah, if you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button if you enjoy my readings or if you enjoyed this one. And also personal reading links are in the description box below. Okay, Virgo, let's get into this. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. What kind of message, if any, will Virgo be receiving or anything on Valentine's Day? Okay, yep, almost wanted to come out, but it didn't. Okay. So there we go. Okay. Oh, Virgo, this is amazing. Listen, Virgo, this is the best message. I feel personally that you and everyone can uh, receive on Valentine's Day. Love yourself first, Virgo. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Virgo, listen, when spirit speaks, that's the message. Okay. Listen, the first person that you should be loving on Valentine's Day and every day is yourself, Virgo. And I feel like, yeah, I know some of you want to hear from someone. You could, but I feel like the main message here for those of you who are, if you're going through a heartbreak or if you are <clears throat> past a relationship and you're single, um, or even if you're in a relationship at this time, the the best gift that you can give to yourself is accepting and loving yourself. Man, that is such a strong message for you guys. And you know what? If you are in a position right now where there isn't anyone in your life or you're just doing you and whatever's going on, you attract romantic love by respecting yourself and loving yourself first. That's just the nature of things. That's just how it works, okay? So big, big message for you, Virgo take heed you're worth it you are special you are wonderful you are unique you are an amazing person remind yourself of that daily okay you are worthy all right let's get into the rest of february and a little bit of valentine's day as well and see what messages are coming up here for you i feel like this is the strongest it's like Virgo, there's, okay, yeah, wow, especially some of you uh, definitely, maybe you were in a connection with someone, the Five of Swords, or um, friend, family member, lover, whichever it might be, where there was a lot of like, yeah, that Five of Swords energy can be bullying, that kind of thing, and a lot of you, you know, it made you weak, you dealt with something that <clears throat> caused a lot of stress and anxiety, your strength, you lost some of your strength. Some of you lost some of your confidence with the, uh, the oh my gosh, I can't even say it, the strength card in the reverse, okay? This is kind of like, maybe there was abuse of power, um, a lot of fear or discord or some sabotage or self-sabotage in a relationship. Virgo, it feels like to me, this is a real strong message here as you go through the rest of February and especially on Valentine's Day. If you don't get a message from someone, for, for some of you, okay, it doesn't mean you're not worthy. It doesn't mean you're not valuable. So there's definitely an energy playing out here of like coming out of this mental struggle okay um your anxiety is going up and there's a feeling of being weak or you have a weakness for someone and it's causing extreme anxiety and a lot of you just need to get into this place of like you know what go get yourself some flowers Go buy yourself deliver some flowers to yourself um i don't know get yourself a box of I don't know, vegan chocolate, whatever you're trying to do for yourself, right? You are your own Valentine. I know a lot of everybody's like, well, we want a lover. We want someone to love us. Okay, well, you know what? That's great. And that can happen. But this is a case of, you know, things are delayed right now for some reason. There's something going on. I, for some of you, it's not time yet. And this is like a time period here for you to just be like, you know what? Let me put all of my effort and energy into myself. Or let me just keep on doing that, okay? 
I mean, Valentine's Day can be so overrated, you know. I mean, love should be something that we give and receive on the daily. Valentine's Day, you know, it's a special day, of course, but it's not, it's, you know, it, it's not like if you don't hear from someone on Valentine's Day, that means that you're not loved, okay? But let me just take a look. I feel like for, for a lot of you guys and girls, there's definitely an energy here of, you know, needing to get back to taking care of yourself. Self-love is very strong. Um, positive affirmations towards yourself. Um, unconditionally loving yourselves. Having that self-respect and c gaining your courage back. Okay, and with that Ace of Wands in the reverse, it's just an energy. Maybe you feel a sense of rejection or there's a lot of false starts or has been or delays, that kind of thing. Um, there's a reason and a purpose for everything like that that happens. And you know what? It's kind of like, okay, well, if somebody's not going to love me, I still can love me. You know, very strong message. Very. Okay, so for those of you who are going through this, understand that yeah, things are definitely delayed. I feel like they keep giving the same message. Delays, 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 okay? Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. It's not time. <clears throat> you could have someone who is... There's an energy of being very stubborn or someone who maybe is lazy or they're not working on a relationship and or it's an off and on kind of situation it's not really going anywhere it's causing you a lot of stress Virgo I guess this is the way they want to go here let's see yeah look wow Virgo the Empress in reverse I mean this has really got you in some kind of a funk I just kind of feel like the mess it's like a really strong message if you don't hear from so like i know some of you are like well if this person doesn't do anything for me or message me on valentine's day or even express because express their love or something then um like i don't know i'm not saying that it's okay but i do feel like with this empress in the reverse it might have some of you feeling like or maybe like you're like you're like like you're not good enough okay um or you, some of you might be too highly dependent on expecting to hear from someone on valentine's day okay because the empress in the reverse can be a card of dependency so i feel like you need to like somehow keep your expectation really low and um give to yourself on this special day especially on this special day okay I feel like they just want to keep saying this. Um, some of you, I just have to give a message. There's an issue with a mother or um, maybe your mother's not around. And this day could be significant. She could be, um, uh, they're just saying for some of you, Pisces, Aquarius, could be a Leo or Libra, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. So the message coming from mom, if she's not with you now, is, you know, Virgo, you're worthy. Okay, just a, just a, you're worthy. That's what I'm hearing. Don't give up, honey. Don't give up, baby. That's what I'm hearing. All right, one other message. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I feel like it keeps coming around. You've gone through some kind of separation or divorce of some sort or a breakup. Yeah. Oh, what does Virgo need to know? What does Virgo need to know here? I mean, the only card in the upright, you guys, is the Nine of Swords. And I feel like, you know, that's, that's a tough place to be. It feels like you're just go, maybe going through some grief or depression or there's a loss of something or someone. All right. What does Virgo need to know going forward for February? Oh, wow. Okay. Seven of Swords reversed here. All my cards are coming up reversed. So Virgo, um, all right. I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say this right now. Make amends to yourself right now, Virgo. Um, if somebody did you wrong, trust, trust that karma never loses an address. If, if you are in a position where you feel like, because this is a card of punishment, this is a card of someone being caught. 
some of you might be feeling like um, you got railroaded or something happened. Something wasn't fair. Listen, Virgo. I mean, I, I'm not one. I don't believe in revenge. I mean, I believe that vengeance is the Lord's. You know what I mean? Uh, that's my personal thing. And taking revenge out on other people is just really a waste of time. But I do feel like if there was somebody who did something, look, the moon in reverse, and they were being deceptive because that's the moon in the upright is lies and deceit, hiding things. Okay, and your, your intuition has been screaming at you something along those lines. The moon in reverse, that's clarity. Things are going to come out. The truth will be revealed. Some of you might be getting a message in your dream. Okay, wheel of fortune in the reverse, uh, <laughs> Virgo. I mean, you just can't make this up. Okay, this person's going to get some serious bad luck. Uh, and it's just going to hit them. They're, they're going to get stuck. They're going to get caught, trapped. They're going to get caught. Ugh. I don't like for the readings to go this way. I don't feel like it's something that is intentional that you are doing something. But, you know, it comes back to us when, we, when we're deceitful to other people, like intentionally hurting other people or intentionally being deceitful to others. That always comes back. That's just the, the universal law. So I don't know what you're stressing about here, but I feel if it's that or a situation like that, maybe you see someone giving their love or something on Valentine's Day when that should have been for you, or you find out about something, Virgo, listen, do not compare yourself, okay? The Empress in Reverse, it could be, um, it's very similar to the Emperor in the Reverse, where the Emperor in the Reverse can be someone who's very immature, um, that big fat ego, controlling type of a person, someone who's extremely codependent, um, and they really don't have much to offer. They're limited in their resources and their ability to love because they're so needy and very controlling. Yeah, um, I don't know if it's a borderline or, and I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean like narcissism type of thing, or if it's someone that's just, you know, very manipulative, which can be the empress in the reverse. Um, I feel like some of you might be trying, like telling yourselves, yeah, this person, wow, all these reversals, very off balance, temperance in reverse. A lot of you might be blaming yourselves for why something didn't happen. All of this coming from a Valentine's Day lack of a wish or a love kind of um, something from someone you really wanted to have or hear from this person. Okay, I know I'm not talking to all of you. This is a message here for someone here who's listening, and I don't know who I'm speaking with, but I mean, this person's just going to like get knocked off balance, knocked off sideways here. Temperance in reverse, 100%. Um, disruption, disruptive energy with this person. It's, something's going to get brought out. Chaos. Okay. Uh, so the truth is going to come out, Virgo. And, and vindication will be yours. Vindication will be yours even if you're not seeking it some of you might not be seeking it some of you just might be like you know what i just want to get out of this stressful situation and i'm trying to love myself again and putting myself first and taking care of self and that's fine and some of you are doing that but i feel like sometime in february you're gonna have an aha moment like ah some of you, you not often do you get to witness that and some of you you know might not actually in February, but find out or get an inclination or an intuitive message that somebody, whatever dirty energy they were putting out there is, is coming back to them. And, you know, some of you, I know you don't want vindication, <laughs> but it, it's just a kind of a thing like, don't be spending all your time suffering because of what somebody else did, Virgo, or didn't do. Okay, or lack of if somebody didn't reach out to you or, you know, this off and on or broke up or was separation or there was cheating involved and broke up a marriage or family or something like that. You know, that person is going to get what's coming to them. It's just the way the way it works. If they if they if they were deceitful on purpose, remember, we had the five of swords that showed up right at the beginning. And that's always an energy of somebody who is, you know, basically bullying um, 
or an abusive relationship or violent or someone who was stealing. Okay, so yeah, Sagittarius energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius. Okay, <laughs> three of wands in the reverse. I mean, I can't right now with this. Um, major setback coming for this person, major. So they're going to get theirs. But let's look at you. Okay, Virgo, let's look at you. Let me give my cards a little bit of a better shuffle here. Let's take a look at you. Because I see you, um, I see you struggling a little bit, you know. Um, I see you with that Nine of Swords, like having nightmares, bad dreams, something you see, your thoughts in your head. Not all of you, but some of you, just stressing over the conflict, unable to sleep, feeling hyper. Okay, for something that somebody did or, or their lack thereof. Something somebody did or didn't do has had a major effect on you. Oh, there you go. There you go, Virgo. You can't make this reading up. And I'm not going to dive too much deeper into this because I really feel like the message is strong. You have justice. It's going to come to you. Things are going to work out in your favor. I'm telling you, Virgo, you just have to trust. Seriously, you've got to kind of like, Virgo, it feels like, and maybe you're already doing this, but it feels like you need to just kind of stop what you're doing and just give it to spirit, give it to the universe and say, I know you're going to take care of this. I am not going to let a person, place or a thing take up space in my head. Okay. When I'm trying to be happy and loving myself, right? You got, it's overcrowded up there <laughs> in your head there with you and somebody else and maybe a third party or whatever the issues are. Like you have got to like evict these people from your head because you're, listen, you weren't put on this planet to suffer. You were put here to live and be joyful and be, ha and be happy and to smell the flowers and enjoy your pets and love your family and, and give and receive and, and be out in the wilderness or in the s enjoy flying through the friendly skies, looking at the beautiful colors of the rainbow. That's, that's what life is about here, Virgo, and not to be in this dark, chaotic, suffering place that, that because you're basically, when you get yourself in that position, you're basically giving power to evil forces that are, even though that person might be gone, they're still controlling you. And you have to stand up. You have to take your sword and stand up and say, no, I'm going to live by what is righteous and truthful and just. That is what justice is. Justice is a card of karma. Okay, so this is cause and effect. This is a win-win solution for you because the truth is going to come out. And in the end, you will be vindicated. Okay, absolutely. And you just have to wait and see. You got Virgo, you basically need to just go get a bag of popcorn, plant your butt on the couch and watch and wait for it all to fall apart because that's how that's going to go. Okay, so if this is a legal issue, it's going to work out in your favor as well. Some of you, this might not be a love thing. Somebody might have stolen something from you um, or deceived you in some way. Okay, and it really tore you down. Trust when I tell you. It's going to come back to them. It's right here. It's going to come back to them. Okay, so here we go. Queen of Cups. Okay, we might have somebody on the cusp of Libra Scorpio. Could be a Scorpio Pisces, I said, and Cancer. Okay. All right. Yep. So, Virgo, it looks to me like whoever your person is, okay? So, just so you know, if it's not a water sign, it is an energy of um, nurturing self, loving self, and no longer giving to the situation. Five, I'm sorry, six of pentacles in the reverse is a card of being selfish. And that is all about loving yourself first. Some of you, <laughs> some of you might be seeing that this person gets caught uh, stealing, like I said, or they, maybe they go to jail or something along those lines happens. Let me just see here for a second. Okay. <clears throat> So that can be a debt gets owed. 
this person and so it's also like I said selfishness and struggling this person very selfish I feel like whoever they were they came in with this queen of cups energy okay just as an energy doesn't matter their sign very nurturing loving caring and supportive but actually behind the veil this person was extremely selfish and had motivation to have done what's right for them and it was all about them okay they're gonna get theirs all right Virgo let's take a look and see any new love coming in for Virgo is there anyone coming in for Virgo before the month of February ends it's funny it's always amazing you guys when I sit down to do a reading my head is completely clear my heart is clear everything is clear and then the cards just the messages come they just speak for themselves all right so ten of swords here you go Virgo this is beautiful. I know a lot of people look at the Ten of Swords and they're like, how is that even beautiful? Because this is hitting rock bottom. So currently you're in the Nine of Swords energy. Currently you're in this place of like on the verge of a nervous breakdown, okay? Or at least it feels that way, okay? Currently you are in this place of like depression or some type of anxiousness, struggle, conflict, mental Okay, when I was asking if like somebody new coming in, having the Ten of Swords means Virgo, you've got to surrender. You have to surrender completely, like hit rock bottom. And what does that look like? That looks like the way I explained. If somebody did you dirty or was deceptive or came in with a very like dark, like like a dark triad or a very dark dark energy towards you you have to hit rock bottom with this face that accept it say to yourself okay this is what happened i'm letting it go i'm giving it to god i'm giving it to spirit they're going to take care of it universe supernatural whoever and i'm just going to hit rock bottom on this so that i can rise from it right so i feel like um, spirit's trying to tell you that um yes we do have someone someone coming into your life a loving gentle caring person okay um who will come but they can't come when you're in that nine of swords energy okay so i'm not trying to gift drop gift wraps i'm not trying to drop gift wrapped boxes that are empty on your doorstep here in this reading virgo because you need to go through this process first of letting go and giving it to god and trusting in spirit that you're being watched after and that the karma will come okay karma will come for someone yeah who's just behaving badly basically okay yeah, yeah, I feel like they're not giving me a message of a particular person coming in, okay? Um, right now, you might have a friend sits in this Queen of Wands in reverse energy, okay? Um, who's going through some kind of a struggle that's very similar to yours. Or you might connect with someone after you accept this situation who is going through a very similar struggle there's a there's a necessity for connecting with her him or her okay not for love not for love but um to share with each other the struggle that you're going through um this could also be someone who um maybe is a professional um I feel like this person will tell you, yes, I went, I'm struggled with the same thing. Two of Pentacles in the reverse it was so overwhelming. My person just had an inability to commit. Um, and it was just so difficult and I was deceived, right? So I feel like I'm taking a snapshot of some progress here for you. That love yourself first is the strongest message I can give you for Valentine's Day. The strongest. You have to go through this process and let go and just like I said, I keep saying it. Trust that this person is going to get caught. And they're going to get in like, <laughs> you think your pain's bad? Oh, they're going to feel it a hundred times worse. A hundred times worse. Okay, did I just have a flip card? Okay, yep. Oh, this is beautiful. The devil in reverse. I love that my cards are coming up in reverse because it's very rare that that happens. And I don't often read them in reverse, but... 
There's a special message here for someone. This devil in reverse, very strong energy of um, recovery or leaving an abusive relationship or situation um, and getting back out there in your life and having fun and fun flirty times with just being your fun flirty self, Virgo. It's, really, it's not necessarily with a particular person but being your fun, flirty self. Um, very strong Capricorn energy there. Virgo, you've been through so much, it looks like. I mean, you have just had such a time of it here. And I just feel like it's really time to like cut some cords here and drop this once and for all. You know, let it go and you know take the l if you have to take the l don't worry this person's going to get branded with a big fat l on their big old fat butt for the stuff that they've done not just to you virgo but to other people they may have cheated friends cheated family members lied they might be a pathological liar or you know whatever kind of stuff it could like for some of you this is a friend it could be a family member uh it could be a co-worker it could be a lover or an ex or someone that you're connecting with right now that it's on and off or this person's ghosting so you know it's just such bad behavior and I feel like it, there's a strong immaturity with somebody here. And Virgo, you're so much better than this person. So much. Look at the stress that this person is putting you through. Like this, this is not how you're supposed to be sleeping at night with this Nine of Swords. You're supposed to be in their nice comfy bed, either watching your show or reading a really delicious book. You know, maybe doing your studies or just, you know, relaxing, doing some mindful meditation. This is not what we do when we get into bed or waking up in the middle of the night with nightmares. You know, this is what this person is putting me through. I certainly hope that you're able to see this for what it is. You know, people do effed up things. Yes, they do. But you should not be suffering for what this person's doing. You know, just trust me when I tell you, they're the ones who are truly suffering and they will be even more once they get caught, once they get found out. I want to see what this person's going to do once they find out, like once they get caught. Because Virgo, you need to seriously shift it in gear and like redirect all your energy back to self and remind yourself how amazing you are. I mean, what this person did truly has nothing to do with you they may have projected their insecurities onto you because they were jealous of you or felt like you were too good for them and you um like this is their insecurity what's this person gonna do oh yeah so listen virgo this is what you need to watch out for okay king of, i'm sorry knight of wands in reverse three of swords in the reverse page of swords in the reverse king of cups page of wands reversed judgment reversed listen virgo this person is going to try to make their way back around to you absolutely once they get caught i am so sorry i'm down on my luck i've got nobody i i need you right now right page of listen knight of wands in the reverse somebody left a comment on my channel that uh, um that I said the page, I'm sorry, the Knight of Wands upright was not a player. Generally, the Knight of Wands upright is not a player. Um, the, usually, this is just someone who's pretty lusty and free-spirited, but that doesn't make someone a player. But in the reverse, they are, okay? In the reverse, this is someone who's chaotic, sexual excess, and impulsivity, right? So, you know, whoever this person is, yeah, they're going to try and come in and like, oh, say they're sorry for not reaching out on Valentine's Day or for not, or sorry for the third party or cheating or the deception and lies and stuff like that. Absolutely. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, judgment in the reverse as well, you know, <coughs> but they're coming in with this, oh, I made an error in judgment. I screwed up so bad. Can we try to fix this? You know, fearing the fact that you're going to start loving yourself. And like, I'm telling you, Virgo, you better trust me when I tell you. Can we just try to get stable and make things right? You know, 
this person might try to come in and pay you back for all the money that they took from you as well okay um or everything they did or try to rebuild with you here right virgo i'm not going to tell you what to do but i just have to say that you don't you got to keep it green you know um because here's the thing when someone stabs you in the back the last person you want to go to for help is the person who stabbed you in the back <laughs> that's like no you got to go to somebody else and say hey can you help me get this knife out of my back you don't go to the person who put it in there and trust that they're going to help you with that you got to be very very careful virgo right and i don't really feel like like i feel like you get to this place where you start recognizing your worth and your value and loving yourself that you realize that you know hmm uh i'm never gonna turn my back to you again um I don't trust you. No. Rebuilding that trust. You can't just take somebody willy-nilly back again. So, yeah. Okay. You're definitely going to be getting an apology, Virgo, from somebody here. And, yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. This person's going to want to try to come in and be like the star of the show. Try to get the recognition and applause from you. And, oh, Virgo, who is this? And why? why virgo i don't know i just don't feel like i want to keep going with this reading because i feel like and i know some of you come here and you want something really sweet you want something where somebody's going to reach out and yeah there's going to be people who are going to wish you happy valentine's day but for those of you that were in <clears throat> the connection with someone that has caused you great stress and heartache um I wouldn't, like, I, I mean, if you can want it to, you're blue in the face, you know, and it, they might come back after Valentine's Day, or they might try to get back in prior to that. But even for the rest of February, Virgo, I feel like you just really need to be careful. That's all, you know, um, with someone specific, okay, someone who's the specific person. Okay, whether it's a friendship or a lover or whatever the situation might be, I, I just feel like the message here is like, don't take the apology. Like, you know, you could say, well, thanks for the apology, but I'm loving myself now and you got what you deserved. Too bad. <laughs> Keep it moving. You know, that's what you, you know, you got what you deserved. It's nothing like your energy here. It's like nothing you're doing. You're not taking revenge. You're not doing, you're just trying to get back up to baseline here in your life. Okay. And be happy again. So, mm, Virgo. These messages are always tough. Be only because I know somebody here is listening to this and they're crying their eyes out or they're having such a hard time going through some kind of split and the family or the kids or grandkids or their personal love lives and some of you are going through this again from a before situation and it's just second time around <clears throat> okay i've got trust and it flipped out into the reverse normally upright it says it is safe to trust in this situation but in the reverse it says no it is not safe to trust in this situation or in this person virgo i just feel like you know like i mean like i said before if you guys were here with me in the beginning i always gave the reference to the bloody stumps like somebody's got to basically come back and you know they gotta not just say sorry but they gotta follow that up with amends and making it up to you like consistently for however long it takes for the trust to be rebuilt where you feel comfortable again right uh, and that's basically the bloody stump scenario like somebody i know it's disgusting but hey virgo's here we're all about the horror right some of us this person's got to like come to your door like with their leg chopped off from the knee down holding it up and just like here this is like i'll give you everything you want my other leg here you can have that too i'll limp for the rest of my life whatever it takes to make this up to you not some bomb ass page of cups apology that doesn't really hold any weight to it all so that they could get the recognition or get back up on top in your heart again um the page of cups is it just it's like a text it's like oh, just a card you know or it's like a phone call it's, it's very immature you know and if you're gonna take somebody back after all this nine of swords after hitting this rock bottom after all this crap so he's just gonna come in and be like oh sorry get the heck out of here with that like that's not even that's not fair to you okay 
<sighs> you got to play hard to get, Virgo, if you're going to do anything and, and, and mean it. It's not just playing a game. Like, you got to protect yourself from swines out there. Okay, balance. One person is giving too much in this relationship. So, Virgo, that could have been you right? You might have been giving and giving and giving in this connection and the other person was not. Well, the tables are turning here. Now you stop giving. <clears throat> Six of Pentacles in the reverse. You start getting selfish going through the rest of this month, loving yourself first, putting yourself first. And now this person starts giving and it's the dance. Nobody, you know, like, I mean, how many hours a week are we on the dance floor right you go to the dance floor you're on there for what an hour two hours and then you're just like okay that was fun going home later you know i mean i'm i don't know about you guys but i'm not on the dance floor for 20 hours a day unless I, that's my career right <laughs> i mean i just i just feel like this is a dance that it gets tiring you know and you're on that roller coaster you're on there it's got a specific amount of time to be on there before you start getting dizzy and you're a wreck everybody has a stop time to get off that roller coaster and this is what i feel like virgo this has been a roller coaster of emotion up and down up and down up and down and now it's time to get your sea legs here and get off the ride <laughs> Get off the ride. If you're going through this right now, Virgo, this person is going to definitely try to make a swift return back into your life after they get caught. Why? Because maybe they're cheating or something happens or they get dumped or something like that. I mean, you just can't. You Like, you can't. All right. Wanted to flip out. Mm. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. They are emotionally unavailable. And that really is what the problem is. That's why even on this roller coaster, you just keep getting off and then you get back on, hoping the ride's going to be better. Like it's the old saying, insanity is expecting, is doing the same thing over and over again, expecting different results. The roller coaster ride doesn't change. The track is set. It's going to just keep returning and keep going in that same route, that same thing. Right, Virgo? Virgo? this month and valentine's day is all about loving yourself first what can you do for you what would you do for you if you had a healthy relationship with someone what what if what you would give to them for valentine's day give it to yourself if you're that person okay i know it might sound silly some of some of the guys are like well i would give flowers and candy but i'm not giving that to myself okay take yourself out to a nice meal then that's fine you know, um, go do something else that you would do with a partner or someone that you love, okay? It's like basically romance yourself for Valentine's Day. Take yourself out for a nice meal if you're by yourself. Or call up a friend who's also lonely, which you might have a friend here, and go out to eat or spend some time walking through a park or do something together. Like love, do something with your children or your grandchildren. Love, or, you know, love doesn't have to be romantic on Valentine's Day. I mean, I know it's a sweetheart's day, but I also feel like, Virgo, you are the sweetest of the sweethearts, honestly, you know, and if you're stressing about something here, <clears throat> listen to me when I tell you, people that do other people wrong, intentionally deceiving to hurt another person for their own selfish gain, always, it always comes back to them, always, and you may or may not be there to witness it. By the time it does come back around for some of you, you might be like, damn, I don't even care anymore. But it does, that's just the way it goes. And for others, you get like, you know, fist pump. Yes. Yes. You know, that's what they get. <laughs> All right. Chinese signs here. Okay. Year of the snake. Year of the horse. Year of the rabbit. Year of the rat. Year of the monkey. Year of the pig. Year of the tiger. And the year of the ox. Okay, Virgo, so that's either you or it's the other person or both of you or neither of you. Don't stress it. Um, let me see here. What other messages for Virgo? What other messages? For All right, mask. There you go. Someone's wearing a false mask in this relationship. Not showing true feelings. Hiding. Pretending. Gaslighting. Deluding. Okay. Yep. Wearing the mask. Okay. Emotionally unavailable. Big time. 
sometimes Virgo, it has, you know what, when someone's like that, when that energy is there, it's, it doesn't have anything to do. You can love someone till you're blue in the face, but if somebody is not capable, you know, liken it to like somebody who um, was born without, was in, in, inability to hear, um, no matter how much you could scream top of your lungs, sing to them, no matter what you do, if someone's not capable of hearing, the volume of your words are not going to make a difference. And sometimes it's really just a matter of like sitting down and saying, you know what? I love the best that I could love. I am capable of love. I am capable of giving. I am capable of receiving. And I was with someone that was not capable of receiving my love or or maybe not even capable of giving it they might have been pretending to love and that's harsh but unfortunately when people who are incapable of loving they learn to mask so that they could not feel like unworthy but honestly there's nothing behind the veil there and that's when it's kind of like I feel like you have to say to yourself you know what I it wasn't ever about me not being good enough or I didn't do enough or I wasn't worthy enough. It had nothing. You're still completely intact. You're hurt, but you're still completely intact. There's nothing wrong with you. It was this person wearing the mask, this person unable, incapable to love. And that's actually sad to be angry and that's why I feel like a lot of you might know this and you're not vengeful because there's like something wrong there um, or off a little bit and that's why it's like oh you're not mad and you're not going to seek vengeance like and you know but if someone is like purposely delude like like if someone is like purposely going around and hurting other people in order to get something in return, that's a wolf in sheep's clothing. And that is very manipulative. And that person, you know, is going to get their comeuppance for what the tactics that they're using, okay? If someone's incapable of loving um, <clears throat> because of, I guess I want to say maybe, I don't really know. I'm not 100% sure what would make someone incapable of loving. They could just have a tremendous amount of trauma. But even if they are um, incapable of loving, to not really say anything or to not clue you in or have a discussion about it and to just continuously manipulate and lie and bring in other people and, and stuff like that, like, I don't know. I, I'm feeling more along the lines. I'm trying not to go. I, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt because I, I'm very interested in psychology, but at the same time, it doesn't matter, Virgo, because at the end of the day, no matter how much we break it down, no matter how much we try to analyze it, at the end of the day, there you are with that nine of swords about to hit rock bottom. Your heart is completely shattered. And it's about you. If somebody's not capable, it doesn't matter why. All that matters is that they're not. And you have to find someone who is capable of meeting your needs in a loving, healthy way. Right? So it doesn't matter why. Whatever their issue is, it's not for you to just judge and be like, oh, this, that, the other. It doesn't matter. You ha cannot spend your whole life. Uh, you, everybody's trying to get their me needs met out here. Like, <laughs> everybody. <laughs> everybody's trying to pay for gas. We're trying to get our groceries. We're making exchanges. Yes. Okay. So you're going to get a love call. Okay. Someone express this love. Message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. Okay. Well... Mm, okay, it's definitely going to be from this person. Addiction. This codependent person, I feel like, cannot let you go. They just keep hurting you. Virgo, there's no sense in you telling this person to let you go. You need to be the one to say it to yourself. You need to be the one to let them go. <clears throat> you don't need to wait for them to let you go. You don't need to wait for clarity. You don't need to wait for closure. You need to be the one... And I feel like you're going to do that, right? So that you can have a new start here. You know. All right, Virgo. So you've got a guitar or a music instrument. Listen, I just want to say this one thing, okay? The first message that I'm getting here is that um, I feel like, Virgo, if you're feeling down and out or depressed or anything like that on Valentine's Day or this is a hard time for you, upbeat, positive music on Valentine's Day moving, getting your 
your blood circulating because blood is of the heart <clears throat> and that is the heart-shaped day okay get that blood going on valentine's day in whatever way and get music positive not sappy sad songs because you don't want to be doing that positive positive music a very strong message something that's uplifting that gives you energy and makes you feel good that's the first step and i just feel like this is more of an antidote they're saying if you get your if you're feeling like nobody's talking or you're alone on valentine's day i know the pressure but love yourself first okay treat yourself be your own best valentine on this particular day and going through the rest of the month um and there's something with music it's either listening to very upbeat music or writing some songs or doing something or there's a connection to music with someone um i don't know if it's that person it, it could be and that would just kind of clarify more that this might be a reading for you specifically but i'm just going to leave it there you guys i do hope that you have a wonderful beautiful day with yourselves with your family your friends your cat your dog whomever you're with your co-workers whomever and you know what virgo if you've got no one who's loving you right now um Spend your day trying to love others, the people who are important. Give out those Valentine's gifts. Give out, the, give out those hugs. Tell someone how special they are to you because that always comes back to you. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave that there for you. I will see you guys back here tomorrow for your Tuesday, February love reading. All right, take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.